did. And that comes through in the silhouettes and the shape and the style of the clothing. So for the girls, we wanted them to look really um, innocent strength, you could say, and very fragile looking, like they've never been in the sun, but very, very perfect. So we're taking everyone very, very pale, but without <coughs> being white. So very um, porcelain, alabaster, I would say, and very, very pure looking. And then basically I just give them highlights. There's no contouring. It's just very creamy, creamy skin. It's never been in the sunshine. And then I'm highlighting them on the cheekbone, in the centre of the nose, and the cupid's bow, in the centre of their chin, with um, dewy moisture, but also iridescent, so that they feel like, um, I don't know, it's like when you put a face mask on, things can become very, very flat, so the highlights are giving it um, elevation, you could say. And then the lids are very, very dewy, the brows are very natural, they just have a little bit of help in the archway if they need it. And then the lips are kept a very soft pink, so if the colouring is very high, we're toning it down a little with some concealer, or otherwise we're elevating it. So it's a very pure, perfect, simple makeup based on textures, basically. <laughs> and about the girls looking, they're most beautiful. How did you get that glow? The glow, I think it's really working the texture. What I did is I put the concealer on first, or any base or foundation that you'd like to use. Um, the MAC base and body is this really beautiful and dewy, so I love to work with that texture. So I do that first, and then afterwards I powder out underneath the eyes, because you don't want to be shiny at the sides of the nose or underneath the eye in that triangle. So we powder that down first, and then we go back over top with um, a heavy moisturizer or a lip balm works really, really well. Really well, depending on how shiny you want it to be. And then you press a creamy iridescence into it over top. I think it's all about using cream rather than a powder to get that glow. And keeping the glow on the high points of the face, the cheekbones, the nose, the center of the chin is very beautiful. So I think for a real woman to use her favorite lip balm is a very good thing, or a super heavy moisturizer. And it's um, a very quick, easy touch to look at all. Nice. Anything on the lashes? Or? Nothing on the lashes, and I'm not even curling them. I'm leaving them completely clear, so that gives um, the innocence to it. So I'm leaving them very, very natural, and it's just the dewiness on the eyelid that's elevating them. But I don't take the colour away from the eyelid. I think that it's nice to leave people's natural shading, so it looks like they have natural contour. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome.